7.1 Acid and Base Learning Outcomes At the end of this lesson, students should be able to calculate the pH value of a strong acid and base and relate the strengths of weak acid and weak base to the respective dissociation constant Ka and Kb. Relationship between Ka and Kb for acid-base conjugate pair. Consider the acid-base conjugate pair of ammonium ion and ammonia. Firstly, the dissociation of both species in water is given by ammonium ion in water will produce ammonia and hydrosomonium ion and ammonia in water will produce ammonium ion and hydrogen ion. For ammonium ion, the expression corresponding to Ka is concentration product over concentration reactant. So, we write Ka equal to concentration ammonia times concentration hydrosomonium ion over concentration ammonium ion. And for ammonia, the expression corresponding to Kb is Kb equal to concentrations ammonium ion times concentration hydroxide ion over concentration ammonia. Therefore, the product of Ka times Kb is equal to concentration hydrosomonium ion times concentration hydroxide where it is equal to Kw. Ka times Kb equal to Kw. We negative log both sides and from that equation, we can simplify and write the equation above can be written as pKa plus pKb equal to pKw equal to 14. The strengths of acid and base. The strengths of acid and base can be compared in terms of the degree of dissociation or alpha and the dissociation constant capital K. Degree of dissociation or alpha is ability of acid or base to ionize or dissociate in aqueous solution. So alpha equal to Concentrations of acid or base dissociated equal to initial concentrations of acid or base. Percentage of alpha equal to concentrations of acid or base dissociated over initial concentrations of acid or base times 100. Example 1. Calculate the percentage dissociation if amount of H plus dissociated in a solution of 0.1 molar acetic acid is 1.3 times 10 power of negative 3 molar. Okay, look at the solution. Okay, firstly, we write percent dissociation equal to 1.3 times 10 power of negative 3 over initial concentration 0.1 times 100. So we get percentage dissociation is 1.3%. Okay. Ka or Kb value can be used to distinguish the relative acidity strengths of weak acid and weak base. So when Ka increase mean pKa decrease. Hence concentrations of H plus will be increased. Thus pH decrease means the solution more acidic. When Kb increase, pKb will be decreased, hence concentrations of hydroxide ion increase, thus pH increase means solution more basic. Example, we have acetic acid and methanoic acid. pKa 4.74 for acetic acid and pKa for methanoic acid is 3.76. So from the above statement, we know when pKa decrease, 
mean concentration H plus increase, thus pH decrease and more acidic. For here, we can say concentrate uh, pH for acetic acid smaller than pH methanoic acid. Conclusion, relative acidity pH for methanoic acid greater than pH acetic acid. And for basic or basicity, pH for ammonia is greater than C6, H5 and H2. pH calculation for strong acid and strong base. Okay, example, calculate the pH of 0.1 mol, molar of HCl solution and calculate the pH of 0.2 molar of sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, from this question, we know HCl and sodium hydroxide are strong acid and strong base. So, it is completely dissociate. Okay, so for first question, firstly, you must construct a table. Okay, we have initial concentration and final concentration. Okay, given to you concentrations of HCl 0.15 molar and at initial concentrations of H plus and chloride ions are zero. Okay, after dissociation occur or at final, concentration HCl becomes zero and concentration H plus and Cl minus equal to 0 0.15 because we assume HCl completely dissociate. So if you have 0 0.15 HCl at the beginning and at final, it can produce 0 0.5 molar H plus and Cl minus. Therefore, pH equal to negative log concentration H plus. After you calculate, you can get pH for HCl equal to 0 0.82. Okay, for second question, hydro sodium hydroxide will completely dissociate to produce OH minus and Na plus. Okay, we construct table. Initial concentration for sodium hydroxide given to you 0.2 molar. At beginning, concentrations of hydroxide ion and sodium ion are zero. Okay, after dissociation occur or at final, initial uh, concentrations of sodium hydroxide equal to zero and concentrations of hydroxide ion and sodium ions are 0.2 molar. We assume sodium hydroxide completely dissociate. Okay, so to calculate pH, so from this equation, you have concentrations of hydroxide ion. So, we use pOH equal to negative log concentration hydroxide ion equal to 0 0.6989. pH equal to 14 minus pOH 14 minus 0 0.6989 equal to 13.3. So pH of sodium hydroxide equal to 13.3.